Thursday is always the first day that we are delighted to welcome the general public to the BT Young Scientists and Technology Exhibition. This is the day that the students get to talk to people that are really interested in their projects, for students to come and visit the peers that have qualified from their schools and stuff as well. So it's an amazing, amazing day. As well as that, to keep everybody entertained, we've got amazing shows. So we've the physics of breakdancing, unbelievable science, 3D theater, uh, World of Robots, and they're amazing. So five incredible science shows. You have to be here to seeing is believing and getting the interest, which is absolutely fab around here. My name is Breed Madden, and this is my sister Mara, and we're from the Earthline College in Sligo Town. And for our project, we have developed a portable charging station that alerts to overheating of any electrical devices. One of our phones overheated while it was charging. Breach had her phone under her pillow overnight, which is a major safety hazard. So it overheated and we wanted to see was this a big problem. So we searched online and our uncle was a fireman and he said that he attended over 150 fires in 20 years with electronic devices in a small area, Tober Curry and Sligo. So we said we investigated it further and we conducted a survey of sample size 510 to see if overheating was a big problem in Ireland and we found that 48.1% had a device that had overheated and 20 had a device that caught fire. So we decided it was time to build a device. Maura entered the BT Young Scientist last year, but this is my first go. We love it here, everyone's so nice and friendly and we're learning a lot of different stages from everyone. Today we're launching the Irish, British and American Junior Chamber of Commerce and it's a proud day for us because we've been thinking of doing this for a long time. The whole idea of it is to try and help connect young entrepreneurs who are trading internationally. I claim that it was my original idea, but to give it to Kate, she's probably put in a good chunk of the work into it because I'm in Leaving Cert year. We started Fenu Health after winning the prize at The Young Scientist, which was purely to do with figuring out what flavours horses liked and like how to get them to eat their food. We now have nine people on our team and we're exporting to 15 different countries, but it's really just been the help with BT and The Young Scientist the whole way along. It's not like you just do The Young Scientist and you're kind of out the door, like it has just been constant support from the day we set foot in the RDS.